Number 17 from Dale Thornton, who says, where do we see in scripture that the old ceremonial laws are gone? Um, well, one example would be Romans, which talks about how everything is clean. Nothing is in Romans 14. Nothing is unclean. You know, whatever you want to eat, you sanctify by the word of God in prayer. Like that is absolutely uh, contradictory if the ceremonial laws are, are still binding upon all of us or, by, or are binding upon every believer in Jesus today. You know, the example of Peter, when he, when he has a blanket come down and there's all these unclean animals and he's like, get up, kill and eat Peter. And he goes, I've never eaten anything unclean. And God says, don't call unclean what I've called clean. Or in Mark 14, I think it's 14, where it's Jesus, it's, or is it six? It's in Mark. It's somewhere between chapters one and, and 16, um, where Jesus says, you know, uh, it's not what goes into a man that defiles him, but what comes out of a man and thus making all foods clean, which I have, I do have, I do talk about that in my Mark series, that verse. So those are a few of the passages. Um, the circumcision issue was also a cleanliness or a ceremonial cleanliness type law. And circumcision was not pressed upon, upon uh, Gentiles. And throughout the book of Acts, the Gentiles are simply not required to do any of those things or even the feast days in Israel. So I think there's several different scriptures, probably a lot more scripture that supports that view than people realize. Um, 